Good morning. I'm Brother Eddie Coleman with the Tornado Apostolic Church. Welcome to our morning devotion. Today, I'm going to be talking about a empty seat. And I'm going to be reading from 1 Peter 4, verse 7. But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. So it sounds like we need to be very watchful and praying because the end of things are at hand. Now, I'm not really sure what all he means by that, but he's telling us to be soberly minded. In other words, to have our heads screwed on right way, you know, know what is up and what is down, which way's right and which way's left. He's telling us that we need to be watching. So, I'm not sure exactly what that means, but it sounds like something's about to happen. And I'd like to tell you a little story. The music quietly faded away as a hush fell over a crowded auditorium. The time had come for the curtain to rise on the final performance of King Lear. My friend glanced out from behind the thick curtain, scanning the sea of faces. Her eyes traveled from row to row. Then she saw it. The seat that she had reserved was empty. Her heart skipped a beat. What had happened to the person who was to fill that seat. Knowing that her part in the play came later, my friend pulled her eyes away from the empty chair and hurried to the phone to make a call. That Saturday had been a hard day for me. Nothing had gone as planned. My husband needed extra errands run. My daughter had a list of Things to buy at the store, and piles of laundry waited to be done. I had looked forward to seeing my friend perform in her college play. However, by the time I was supposed to leave, a different things had all of a sudden come up again. Obstacles that had made my my evening so impossible. Sadly. I knew I would not be able to make her performance. Then my phone rang. It was my friend calling to see what had happened to me. She was concerned because my seat was left empty. Matthew 7, 13 through 15, it says, Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be that go in thereat, because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are raving wolves. How busy are we? That's a good question today because we find we are very busy. Have we forgotten what is more important and what to walk away from? You know, there are some things we need to just lay to side. Not that important. What about our soul? Today is the day of salvation. We need to get out of this rat race and draw closer to the Lord. What are we talking about? We're talking about an empty seat. Will your seat be full when the time comes? Or were you too busy doing other things? Remember, He is coming for those that are ready and watching for him. How about you? How busy will you be today?
we hope that you have made time for all the right things because those right things are the most important things in life. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for an opportunity to know you. Help us, Lord, to get the right things right, Lord, and the things that's not that important to lay them to the side. Lord, we know that we need to be ready for you. We don't want to waste time, but, Lord, we want to be about our Father's business. For thou art a great and mighty God, a holy God, and we give you all the praise in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. We hope and trust that you'll have a wonderful day in Jesus Christ.